Okay, so this is the uterus of a cow, and um, so it's bicornus subseptus, because you can see the septum in the middle. Um, so we'll start with the ovary. Okay. Um, so you have Margo mesovaricus. Margo mesovaricus, just over here. Yeah. Margo libera. <coughs> facies matrale. Um, so it's one of the other. And facies muriare. Mm -hmm. Extremitus tuberare. Which is towards the tubular organ and then extremitus uterine near the um, uterus. Uh, ligamenti ovary proprium. In the mesovericum. Yeah. Um, and then on the ovaries you have fimbrae ovaricae. Hang on. That's uh, on the infant dibidum. <coughs> oh. Oh, attached oh, to the ovary. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. So wait, hang on. Um, these here are the. Um, Fimbrae o over oh, there. Okay. Oh, okay. And then Fimbrae tube A. This is here. So the uterine tube is split into the infundibulum, mm -hmm. which has got the ostium abdominale tube A, which is inside the infundibulum. Um, you have the ampulla. The largest part, right? Yeah. And then this goes into the isthmus, which is the narrow part. Comes down. And then in between the isthmus and the uterine horn is the ostium um, tube A, uterine A. Um, and they're suspended in the mesosphalanx. <laughs> and you have ligamenti latum uterine. That's the whole. That's like in the yeah. It's uh, and then the ovary is encased in bursa ovary. When they form something, but I don't know what they are. And so you have your ligament proprium ovary. Um, your mesosphalanx and I'm pretty sure the ovary itself. Okay. Um, there might be other parts, but it's in the book. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then the um, uterus is split into the cornu uteri, the corpus uteri, and the cervix uteri. So the cornu uteri has Margo mesotericus, so that's this side, and Margo liber. Facies dorsalis and facies ventralis. The corpus um, is divided by the vellum uteri in carnivores, ruminants, and pigs. Um, and you have margo uteri dextra and sinistra. And um, so, um, yeah, as we look at it. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, so sinistra, sinistra and dexter. Um, cavum uteri. Uh, it's on the inside. Um, and the floor of this is called fundus uteri. And then you have facies dorsalis and ventralis. And then the cervix. Um, inside it has the canale cervici uteri, which joins the ostium uteri internum. And the, and the ostium uteri externum. So the um, internum is between the body and the neck, and the externum is between the neck and the vagina. So. Um, and it's split into the portio prevaginalis, which is this bit here, and portio vaginalis, which is just bit protruding into the, the vagina. Um, you also have plica longitudinalis, which is in all animals, plica circularis in ruminants, and corvina cervicalis, which would be in pigs. And then the vagina, <laughs> just the end. Oh, yeah. Between the uterine horns, you have your uh, ligament intercornual. Um, so your vagina is split into paris dorsalis and ventralis. Right. Yeah, dorsal and ventral. Um, so you have your fornix vaginae, which comes around the paris uh, vagina of the, the cervix. So it's this bit here. Um, you have your, in young animals that haven't had any young, you have your hymen, which is around the osteum. Um, you three. External. External. <laughs> um, you have your pro um, vagina propria and your uh, vagina vestibulum. From there. Um, ruminants and pigs have diverticulum subureteri. It's in here. It's inside the inside the ostium uterine yeah. externum. And then the fusion of a genital and urinary system are called the sinus urogenitalis. I think it's around this sort of area. Um, in the tunic of mucosa, you have glandular vestibularis minor, so which are on the lateral and ventral wall, and glandular vestibularis major, which are on the lateral wall, but their species differences. Um, and then in the vulva, you have um, your labia, vulva, sinistra, and dextra. 
which fused dorsal and ventrally to form commissura, lavorium, dorsal and ventral. Dorsal and ventral. You have rema vulva. Um, it's just, yeah. um, and then your clitoris is split into your crura, clitoridic clitoris? Yes. Yeah. Corpus clitoris, glans clitoris, um, and also it comes from a fossa clitoris and is partly covered by free fugium clitoris. And then the, um, it's made up of corpus cavernosum clitoris and not spongiosum like the penis.